hi guys welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i will show you guys how to create a simple youtube subscribe animation with bell icon in adobe after effects also i will show you guys how to draw these components in adobe illustrator and using this component how to animate easily in adobe after effects so let's get started Alright guys, first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the necessary components in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, we need a subscriber button, bell icon and a hand icon. So it's fairly easy to draw. So what I'm going to draw is subscriber icon first. And I'm going to name it sub button BG. Uh, I'm separating this one because we are going to change the color of the subscriber background so that's the reason I'm changing this to I'm putting into two layers this one is sub button label all right so we go back to the subscriber button B background and we draw a simple box and make it as a gray box something similar to YouTube subscriber uh, YouTube subscriber icon color it's probably this one don't worry guys we can change the colors in uh, Adobe After Effects also later on so I'm just gonna give this one for now and we will have that smooth rounded corners and this is okay now I go back to the subscriber label and I will choose a uh, Roboto I think Google still use Roboto if I'm not wrong Maybe select medium and say sub subscribe all right so I'll make it bigger oops subscribes subscribe e -R -I -P -E. all right so our subscribe label is ready maybe this one we made it make it regular size and bring the tone a little bit down the brightness are uh, here okay and this one will make it a little bit more smaller center it align center and control k we bring it to one pixel and nicely align here and we also bring this one a bit like this Okay guys, so I will just put this one aside. Then I will create a new layer. In here, I'm going to draw the bell icon. So I name it bell. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a basic rectangle. Just make these corners like this and make a copy from this one and make it very small like this and I bring it here maybe even more smaller and go to align and center it now what I will do is I will bring this one like this let's make a rectangle and center it all of them again now I will choose both of these corners and make them as rounded corners and go back select everything go to pathfinder and make as one object and I select these two corners and again I will make as rounded corners right guys it's very easy right and we go back to the ellipse tool in here and what I will do is I'll put a rectangle and I will cut this part you don't need this so I put everything together align and again I will go to pathfinder and unite them okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another rectangle in here and I will make this corner as a rounded corner like this make sure it's outline and we arrange until we get the perfect uh, size maybe we need to bring this a little bit more corner 
so you can select again and bring it a little bit more corner okay i think this is perfect so now i will delete this we don't need this and i will create one more anchor point in here and i will delete this one and i will delete this one also okay so this look fine then i will bring the stroke and create stroke cap uh, rounded cap and make the width bigger maybe like this and i will make a i can go to object and expand this one first yes we need to expand then we go to reflect and double click and vertical copy which will copy vertical window then we select both of them and align top oops selection top control g now select everything align center and we make it as one object so we have a bell icon or oh, we cannot make this one as a one object uh, go back to the step so we select these two as one object this one as a separate object again i go to the layers and create one more layer and name it bell ring then i will bring this one to the ring layer so we have two separate layer one for the bell the other one is for the ringing ringing uh, shape okay so our bell is ready we can make this one a little bit more small actually something like that okay uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to before that i select everything and i want to change the color a little bit more lighter tone maybe a little bit more tighter okay so I, so I think it's okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the hand icon and i go back to rectangle tool again and draw one rectangle and copy this and put it in here and this one also put it like that this one i put it like that and i select all of these all of these anchor points and go to align and we align to one line and bring it up this one we, we can bring it a little bit more longer now select all of them i think we need to it need to be a little bit more thinner so now select all of them and make them as rounded corners like this all right then what i will do is i will do one more rectangle like this and bring this one like this i copy this this one and go to rotation and make a 45 degree turn make the preview in this look okay so we do something like this and now select everything oh before that bring this one a bit higher like this yeah now select everything for the pathfinder unite them and now select this one bring it like that bring it up a bit like this bring this one like this a bit all right so our rectangle is ready our hand shape is ready we need to give a white color for this one not too much and i'll copy this and uh, no and then i also need to give a outline for this one but outline color will be something like that and we go back to line and draw some line like this and make sure they are in the correct position this here 
and let me see here select all of them so this one make them as align them nicely and bring them to the correct place we can go and uh, deselect these things so that we don't have any issues okay then this one also we bring it in here this one also we bring it in here all looks fine we also do one more thing in here select all of these make it as a rounded corners like this so it look like more like a hand icon i think the hand icon of youtube is something similar and maybe we bring bring up the stroke width to two maybe and we bring these also to two all right select everything object expand and fill stroke both expand okay you select ctrl x now select everything make it as one object so now this is one object and shift ctrl v right click arrange bring it back so we have a perfect hand shape all right guys so select everything ctrl g is a group already so now we bring it in here and make it smaller something like that all right so uh one two three i think all our objects are ready so now we save it components and okay so i save this as a illustrator file and now I'm going to open After Effects and we are going to animate these in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so I'm going to create a new composition first. Our composition will be 4K uh, USD and 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second and our animation would be 3 seconds. We can change this later on also. I just put 3 seconds. I think it's good enough and call, we call it as YouTube YouTube sub sub plus bell okay so I'll say okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the components we have created I select the component make sure you are com com uh, importing as composition and just say import all right, so now we have imported everything as composition, but we are not going to go into that composition. We are going to put these things in this composition, which we have created. And the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two and bring it in here. We have the subscriber and make sure we make this uh, as a fit to screen and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place them uh, where it will show in the actual video. That means after it animated where it will show. So I'm thinking somewhere around here because we don't disturb any of the videos. At the same time, uh, we need to have a, we need to capture the audience attention as well. So I will bring it, I will press the P button here, then I will bring it somewhere around here I think this look okay all right and then what I will go in what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the okay so I will be in the bell icon as well and I will place it I will press the P button again and I will place it somewhere around here yeah, I think this place is better. Okay, I think uh, so. Alright, guys, so I think the bell icon also okay. Then we will bring the and icon 
here and hand icon what I will do is I will just uh, I just place it here for now later we will we will work with this one all right now first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going first thing what is going to happen is this uh, subscriber button will animate into the screen from bottom so I will select these two and maybe when it reaches uh, 30 frames we will animate we will say it will be in this position and from here it will come from below so let's animate and see yeah I think this is okay so if you guys uh, see my previous tutorial, I have explained to you guys how the easy is work, e what is easy is and how it works. So I'm not going to go into detail in this tutorial. If you guys want, you can see uh, you can see the tutorial from here. So I will select these two, and I'm going to say F9. And okay, so now we animate and see. Alright, so one thing what I want to do now is when it reaches uh, here, I want it to be slow down a bit. So as you guys know, we select these two, go to the graph editor and uh, sorry, I want to make it faster. I want to start from slow and uh, finish faster. So I will make like this. So let's animate and see. Yeah, so this is good enough. Okay, so this is okay, and then we go back to the normal timeline in here. So we, once it reach, we will have this hand hand will come into this coming from below. Oops, sorry guys, my mouse has some issues. Okay, so uh, my initial position of this hand is going to be in here, somewhere around here, then. So when it reaches here, it will be in this position. So I'm going to make a keyframe from here. Then when it one second, it will reach here. Like this. All right, so let's animate and see. All right, perfect. And also I will make it as a Easy, easy you can right click and go to keyframe assistant make it as easy or you can make it uh, you can press f9 right and again i will select these two go to the uh, graph editor and make this one same as that one the same as earlier make it faster yes all right then we go back here so once it clicked I want this one to change color. So to do that, it's very easy. We go, uh, we go to effects and filters. We'll search for fill. So we apply a fill color to this sub icon. So we don't need this one. Uh, the initial color will be what is the initial color? So we select from here. Initial color will be C C C C C C C. Okay, I just copy. I don't know why I even copied it. And never mind. So I copy and place it in here. So when it click, it will turn to this one. We put a keyframe, and when it click, it will turn to YouTube red. So. YouTube red color code is C4302B if you guys want to know all right and now if you guys animate and see subscribe and when you click on it it will have that red color and next thing is when this mouse is coming here and then when it click I want to change this text to subscribe but if you guys see the illustrator text did not come as uh, uh, text editable text of text uh, I think it's because uh, we need to save as a PSD file to bring it with the edit uh, bring it as a editable text into After Effects 
but it doesn't matter in any case I'm, I have used this as a reference only what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the text layer inside After Effects so I will select this one in here and just type, type the same text we have created uh, sub, subscribe subscribe and uh, make sure you have the same fonts uh, photo regular and bring it on top of this one and make sure the size of the font is exactly similar to the one you have bring in yeah i think this is perfect 68 okay guys so we can bring the width maybe 10 or maybe 25 yeah i think this is okay so first thing i'm going to select this color all right perfect okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make this text uh, and going to select this parent uh, parent child link and make their illustrator text layer as the parent objects now if you go back and see maybe they make it as a fit all right so if you animate and see the after effects text is animating with the illustrator text so we can hide the illustrator text now so now if you see the text the background is from after effects uh, from illustrator and the text is from after effects all right perfect so why i did this is because when we click i want to change this to subscribe so i will go here i go to the subscribe layer now i open the text and i click the source text i put a keyframe in here then when we reach to five frame i will change the source text to subscribe and I will put another keyframe in here. Okay. So now if you animate and see. We have. This is coming. Click subscribe. Okay. And also what I will do is. I will put a fill effect again in here. Go to effects and uh, presets, bring in the fill tool in here. So when it change to subscribe, I will change the fill color to white and make a keyframe. And earlier, you have to bring this one keyframe here and we need sorry keep it must be in here and when it say subscribe the color will be dark gray so we have the full subscribe animation now click subscribe okay subscribe all right so our subscribe button animation is done the next step is animating the bell icon so what i want to do is when this when the when the hand comes in and click on the subscriber button then this bell icon will pop up underneath this subscriber button and then again the and I can will go and click on the subscriber button so that's the animation I'm going to do so first thing what I want to do is I want to make sure this bell and the bell ringer 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 uh, shape is underneath the subscriber that is the under layer all right so after this I just click outside and go to the shape tool and I want to make a shape uh, by holding the shift key so we will have perfect circle and now I will bring this shape under the bell icon 
so this bell uh, shape is part of this this bell icon also so now i will zoom in first control plus and pressing the space bar i will move it so that we have, we can see it in the zoomed in scale so now what i want to do is i want to make this bell uh, ringer part is parent uh, child of this 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 bell icon so this is the ringer part so i will select this uh, spiral icon and drag and bring it to bell main icon which is this one so when i make any changes to bell icon it will affect the child object as well okay i make it a little bit more smaller and again we go back to the position and bring it uh, center to this circle i think this is okay and we also bring the shape a little bit more smaller and we bring it like this so now select uh, all of these select all of these and maybe this one we need to bring it even more smaller all right so this is okay now what i want to do is i want to go into this one and we go into the contents ellipse and we don't need a stroke so we all stroke with zero so we don't need stroke and we go to fill and the fill color will be white all right and now what i want to do is i want to go to the bell icon and i want to have a fill uh, fill uh, effect which is this one in here so I apply to the company this one and I will make sure it's a gray tone something like this and I copy this one uh, we can copy this one from here as well copy and paste it to the ringer also all right so now we go and animate so we make this one um, make this one fit so when it reach here, our hand comes in, click. So within 30, when it reach 30 frames, all of these click on the position and all of these will reach here. But when it goes here, when it, when it appearing the red color, when the red color is finishing, the transformation of the red color is finishing, I want this one to go in here and maybe bring it down a bit something like this and we select all these things and shift ctrl d which will split this layer into two and we don't need these things in here so i just select and delete them so if you guys animate and see so it will be something like this click so bell icon is coming maybe it's not fast enough so i will bring it to 20 frame or 25 frame and select all of them p we bring it in here and select everything make it as easy is f9 and we can do the same with the graph like earlier all right so now if you guys animate and see click all right okay so our bell icon is ready as also all right so when this one uh, this one when the animation is done i want the hand to move start moving to this one so when it reach here i go position and make a keyframe and 45 when it is 45 frames i want the end to come here okay so we animate and see okay once the end reach i will make this this one start animating again so i go here go to the fill and open up the i make a uh, keyframe for the color 
same for this one also I make a keyframe color and when it reach five more frames I make sure the color change to the blue color we all used to I think it's something like this and I'll copy again go back to this one I'll do the same for this one also okay so now if you guys animate and see subscribe click and click but when it changing color what I want to do is I want to start animating this bell icon but if you guys see if we rotate this one it's not rotating properly because they are in different different sizes so what I will do is I will select all of these and right click and make a pre-composition and make it uh, the name is a bell icon okay so all our animation will remain the same but one thing what we can do is we can start animating this one from here so what we need to do now is we need to make this anchor point uh, center to this object uh, to do that I open up this one we go to anchor point and let's bring it to the center of this object which is in here you guys can see you can make it uh, zoom 200 or whatever percentage you want and make sure your anchor points are in exact center of this one and you guys can rotate and see whether it's rotating nice okay okay i think this is okay all right so we pick it zero and we what we need to do is now we have to bring down to the actual place which we which is here so i will select this oh not the anchor point so we go again and bring in the position to make sure your keyframes are not selected so bring your position in here and we our this bell icon was in here right so let's animate and see if we have any problem i think uh yeah a little bit more x towards x side plus x side i think this one is fine so if you guys animate and see now uh yes so this is perfectly all right all right guys so now we can rotate this without a problem so we when once we reach here i go to rotation tool plus the r key and plus press one time to make a keyframe and five frames later it will rotate like this and another five frames later it will go other way not too much like this and another five frame later it will reach like this a little bit and one more five frames later it will go to the initial position all right and select all of them easy use f9 and now uh, if you guys animate maybe I, I select outside now if you guys animate the full animation you can see subscribe click mm, it's animating but i think it's a little bit faster so what i will do is i will make sure it's a bit more slower so i select these go like 10 frames each maybe this one is too slow but it's okay let's see the last one we leave it like this so let's animate and see okay fine so this is what I did actually. Okay, so this is cool. So one more thing I want to do is, you see the uh, ringer part in here, which is, if you guys are watching this from your mobile phone, I think I won't see anything. Uh, but these After Effects tutorials are for desktop 
Pro or something like that anyway. So you see it's animating but what I want to do is I want to select I double click here go in here and I want to make this object 100% I click the T opacity 100% but before that before start animating here it will be 0% okay let's go back to YouTube and now if you see the ringer part will only up come when we click which is five frames later so i want to bring this one five frames later yeah i think now it should be okay so if you guys animate and see all right all right guys so our animation is ready maybe i will make this as 200 percent yeah and make it center to the screen okay so subscribe click bell icon okay so in the immediately after the bell icon was clicked i want the hand hand button to move out of the screen so i will click on the hand icon in here after five frames when it will it reaching here i will make one keyframe and after five frames later sorry 10 frames later uh, maybe 10 yeah. Later, I will bring like this, and also it will be to this side. So now, if you animate and see, click, click. All right. So this is the. I think our animation is all done. So I will make this one. Uh, for this part, I need to make this one uh, fit to the screen, and let's close all of these and uh, so what i'm going to do now is the last animation which when you click i want to give a click effect okay to do that uh, let's close all of these and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new composition we don't need to keep this size maybe we change to um, maybe hd size so it's hd Actually, we don't even need HD size. Maybe let's make it uh, 1000 by 1000. 500 by 500. 500 by 500. And 60 frames all okay. So let's make it uh, as a composition. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle from here. Now don't worry about the color now. Let's go and open up this rectangle and we are going to animate this rectangle so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this uh, link out so our initial position will be somewhere around like this maybe like this and something like that and the position will be zero zero yeah zero zero it's fine and uh, this is all right uh, the the stroke we don't need the stroke for this one we make it zero so we close the stroke and the fill color we select the uh, uh, actually the red color is fine yeah we leave it the red color as it is for now let's see how the animation will look and after that we can change so uh, once we satisfied with this size uh, we click on the size and we also click on this um, click on this uh, position all right so when it reach 25 frames uh, I want the rectangle to be thin and longer and even more thin like this and the position to be move away from the X so until here okay so let's animate and see so we have this object animation in here so we can make this uh, total length is length as 30 frames so composition settings is only 30 frames okay 
So now if you guys animate and see, we have this animation. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I select all of these, make it as easy as, and go to uh, this one. And then this time I'll bring like this. So if you guys animate and see now, we have this. So what I want to do now is I want to make this one as a circle. I want to make copies in a circle and make like a blast, like a firework, something like that. You know, the typical clicking animation. So to do that, it's really easy, guys. So we go to add and go to the repeater. So once we click the repeater, there you will see a new repeater will show up in here. So open up that repeater and we want like 10 copies. Okay and we open up the we already put the copies now we need to define where it's going to repeat so by default it's a by position we don't need to change any position i make sure it's zero so all the things will repeat from the 0, 0.0 point point. and we want to rotation we want to rotate because from here we want to rotate 360 degrees so to rotate 10 by 360 is 36 so i will i will say rotation uh, is 36 now if you guys see we have these repeaters like this in here so if you guys animate now and see we have this cool object uh, cool effect in here okay so which represent the click uh, click effect and so we also can say start opacity is uh, maybe 50 and the end opacity is 100 is fine so let's animate and see yeah i think it's fine all right guys this look really cool all right guys so we go back to the youtube uh, bell animation and all we need to do now is when it clicked here we need to bring i rename this one first click effect okay so i will bring this one in here i'll bring this one in here and i make sure to put it on the right place which is in here but it should be under the hand icon so i'll bring it under the hand yeah you guys can zoom and see which is perfect all right so now we make it fit and if you animate and see we have this nice click effect and we also going to do the same for this one also and here control c control v and we bring it here and now we have to bring this one not the other one okay we zoom in and h i will bring it over here and all right guys so it's cool Okay, and I think uh, let's apply a fill color to this one. And this time I'm going to give this blue color. So we will have this, or maybe the white, the blue color is fine. So that's it, guys. Our animation is done. So now the last part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate out. So after this one stays in the screen for a while it should go uh, outside so we don't need to disturb anything on the screen so let's do that and we are done so after 30 seconds i think when this finish i want to bring the subscriber which is this one start moving so position so i go in here because this is the parent object, this uh, subscriber after effects text will follow. So you don't need to worry too much on that one. So select both of them 
and bring it down like this and select this and make sure we have that PC so this time the other way around alright so we go back and let's play and see okay so our subscriber is gone now when the subscriber is left out of the screen i will i want to start moving the bell icon also so to move the bell icon we click on the pre-composition which is this one and position click and five frames later we bring it down like this and again easy is a fine and graph all right maybe other way around here would be better So let's eliminate and see. All right, guys. Okay, so all done. Okay, guys. So our animation is fine. So now we bring in some sounds into the scene, and so I have these basic sounds in here. One is for. All right. So my sounds are ready. So I will play. This one is just click clicking sound just continuously clicking sound and the other one is just a bell bell icon uh, it's a bell sound right and now I will go back here so what I will do is when in here I will bring the click sound oops click sound and I open this I don't know today my computer has thousand problem. Sorry guys. Uh, open this and go to waveform. And here you guys can see. I think this this one will be better. We only need one click. So I play. Yeah. So I will select this one. And uh, shift control D. And we don't need this one. And so we only need one click. I think this is good enough. So we can open this one also. We open the audio and the waveform. And this is one click. And Shift Control D again. We keep this one here. So I'll bring it in. When the mouse reaches here, we place this sound in here. Let's play and see okay sounds good and we need one more here for that i will use another click uh, click a click sound so we have some variations so for this i will use maybe this one but it's too it's too fast so let's see if we can find anything in here this is good enough so I, I, will, I will shift control D I delete this and this one also shift control D I delete this let's play this one and see okay fine so I will bring that to here you can open up the wave wave or your wave and see are we in the correct place or not so I think yeah this look better all right guys so why right, there's two sounds coming oh we have this one this one we don't need so let's play and see okay 
so we close these uh, audio uh, timelines and now we have to put a bell icon here so when the bell is clicked I just need to give the bell sound maybe this is too much but let's see how it look if, if it's too much I will take out uh, this bell icon Should be okay. Feel not bad. Mm, what do you guys think? Shall I keep it? Or oh, <laughs> I don't know. So we can, but we can bring the sound a bit lower. So we go to audio you know, from here. Let's play and see. Yeah. So I think minus twenty, minus uh, m minus maybe fifteen. Okay, let's play and see. So, guys, let's play and see. Okay. So, alright, guys, uh, that's all for this tutorial. Hope you guys uh, like this tutorial and something new. Um, thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorial.